Hello again. Last week was quite a hectic week where I filmed and edited two videos, which I'm really proud of, but it was quite a week-long effort. <laughs> so this week I just wanted to do something really nice for myself, do a bit of self-care and participate in a practice of slow living and romanticizing my life. So I thought I would throw myself the perfect cottagecore picnic. It's spring now, and even though it's still a little bit chilly, I want to take advantage of the season, go out and appreciate what each season has to offer me in the beautiful English countryside. My goal for this video is just to have a really nice time. <laughs> and I hope you have a nice time coming along with me. I have a lovely spread of food and some activities, and the sun is out, so let's get going. For what I'm bringing on my picnic, I'm bringing a sparkling elderflower drink, some jammy dodgers, which I love so much that I actually have a bag shaped like one. Green grapes and strawberries. Cheese, of course. I have my little set of cutlery. And as far as activities go, I'm bringing coloring, my notebook, and an embroidery that I've just started. On my journey, I ran into a few sweet little creatures. I saw a squirrel who was a bit suspicious of me. A little robin redbreast. And I saw a very fancy duck, but he flew away before I could properly record him. I also saw this beautiful little enclave full of spring blossoms where I had to stop and get some pictures. It was so calming watching the blossoms float by in the water. And I found the perfect spot for my picnic. I love the way that this elderflower drink bubbled, and I love that you can see it in the video. I've only just started doing embroidery yesterday, so I'm loving having a new craft to develop. Some might say that I have enough crafts, but I love challenging myself and making new things and learning a new skill. I'm so glad I had the good sense to pick up some herby cheese because as last time I did a video like this, the wild garlic is still in bloom and the walk over here just made me absolutely starving. <laughs> Even though I brought different activities, I've gotten so caught up developing this new craft that I just continued to embroider. most important lessons I've learned in my life is the importance of investing in your relationship with yourself. It's so important to take yourself out on nice dates and spend some time romancing yourself. It really helps you get to know where you're at at that moment in time, what you're finding joy in. It's really important to carve out that space for yourself and learn how to enjoy those moments alone. And of course, these kind of things are wonderful with our friends and family and people we love, but it's just as important to nurture that relationship with your own self by yourself as it is to nurture that relationship with others. It's just so nice to check in and have that moment of reflection and beauty with 
myself. And anytime I'm starting to feel unhappy or agitated, I realize I haven't done this kind of thing for a long time and, and thus it's not really given me the chance to check in with myself and how I'm doing. So yeah, take yourself out on a nice date. You deserve it. Also, if you're by yourself, you don't have to share your snacks with anyone. <laughs> Which is pretty dope. <laughs> I forgot how long that walk actually is, so I am pretty tired, but it was totally worth it. I had an amazing morning and an amazing time just spending the day with myself. I'd love to know what are your favorite self-care activities? Do you ever take yourself out on dates? If so, what do you do? I would love to know because I love hearing about people taking the time to get to know themselves. And also I want more ideas. I love doing this and I wanna hear what you guys do too. And I would say springtime cottagecore picnic achieved. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like it. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I upload new videos every Friday. I hope you have a great day wherever you are and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hello again. Oh God, that one was weird. Oh my gosh, why is my inflection being so weird? Let's try this again. <coughs> Pains of being allergic to the sun.